We're about to destroy these admins. Where do you think you're going? I won't let you disturb our boss. If you're not going to listen, you'll have to go through me first. After all, you've made me look bad more th times than I care to remember. And I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time the gloves are coming off. Hold on one second. Don't you start the party without me, huh? Remember me? I'm here to get my revenge. Ha! Huh, if it isn't that little boy. The little crybaby from Lake Acuity. Do you toughen up a bit? Sure. Let's battle two on two. Here we go, boys. Alright. These crowbats better not be plus speed. I'll be real mad. Oh, I gotta re uh, reboot Dr. Fujibot. I'll do that right now. But anyways, yeah, they they really called him a little boy, dude. I'd be so, I'd feel so disrespected if they said that to me. I might just say a bump the Pokemon battle and punch them in the jaw if they said that to me. Anyways, thanks for the follow, Maya. Hi. Okay, so we're gonna discharge here. All right, let's see this. Let's see this. All right. This better kill the Crobat. It's it does 99.4% minimum. All right, that's one Crobat down. Let's see. Let's get the other one down too. Oh. They got the min roll on on discharge. Oh man. Oh, and they double team too. Oh, this is the bright powder one, isn't it? Oh, what a damn chump. Okay. Bronzong comes out. This Bronzong for sure has Earthquake. Ooh, Snorlax comes out. Snorlax coming out early is really good for me. So what I'm going to do is that um, there's a high probability that Bronzong uses Earthquake here. So I'm going to switch into Husk the Torterra. I know that uh, the Golbat obviously is Brave Bird, but it's not going to Brave Bird what, uh, into a resist there. Hypnosis into Snorlax is really bad for me, though. Yep, Earthquake comes out. Oh, it's Maya High. My apologies. Okay. Husk gets healed up. I don't think Bronzong should Earthquake again, so I'm going to pivot back into Jolteon to sponge the Brave Bird and then have the Crobat kill itself from recoil damage. Let's see, let's see. Oh, that does a lot. That's a crit. That's a crit. That's a crit. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's really bad. I might lose my Jolteon here. Why are you Zen headbutting a Bronzong? Oh my god. And it, it Earthquake too. Okay, okay. So Jolteon goes down. Jolteon goes down. That's not great. Okay really quickly so um spear pillar if we're looking at the teams the one with earthquake snorlax or the one with earthquake bronzong is mars's team so i'm looking at jupiter what's jupiter gonna bring in to take out snorlax max damage potential against snorlax is probably either skunk tank or tangrowth does anything take on both i think cyanide's pretty good at dueling both of those Tangrowth comes in. Oh, and Fernie, can you do me a favor and deal with that bot? Alright, so this thing is going to probably be Focus Blast into the Snorlax slot. And the uh, the Bronzong is going to Earthquake here. So I'm, I'm going to have to just eat this. You've heard that? So just time them out. Um, hmm. 
Do I flamethrower here or do I? I think I just flamethrower. I don't. I don't see any other play. Let's see it. Let's see it. That, that does some chip. Giga Drain comes out versus my Nido Queen. That's gonna do a lot of damage. I need to throw on my HP bars. That's another crit. Stop critting my Pokemon, dude. Okay, it gets up rocks. It gets up rocks. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to have to protect next turn to get some leftovers recovery. And hopefully, uh, nothing disastrous happens this turn. Or Black Sludge, rather. Focus Blast comes out. Thank you, AJ Styles, for following the stream. Snorlax gets pounded by a Focus Blast here. That does a lot of damage, but it slacks off. Okay. Bronzong uses Zen Headbutt as I protect myself. Okay. I think the play here is to pivot into Dusknoir and then start Shadow Punching the Bronzong. I think Tangrowth is probably going to Focus Blast against Snorlax again, or Giga Drain into Cyanide, both of which uh, Kirby is okay at pivoting into. Okay, Focus Blast comes out as expected. It's the new, it's the new type chart. Um... Okay, Snorlax is going to crunch the Bronzong. That's perfect. We really want to focus down this Bronzong because it's the biggest threat to a lot of the things I have in the back. I should be able to take it out with a Shadow Punch here. Alright, Shadow Punch the Bronzong. Giga Drain from Tangrowth is going to do some damage. Okay, yeah, that did do damage. Snorlax slacks off again. Alright, please take out the Bronzong. This is Iron Fist boosted max attack. Okay, Bronzong is down. Alright. What's up next? Yon Mega? Okay, Yon Mega is definitely gonna hurricane into, uh... Dusknoir. Oh, this is really bad. This is really, really, really bad. Because basically, I can't go into Rhyperior because Tangrowth is Giga Draining into my slot as well. I think my... I don't have a switch in here, man. I think my only hope is going Clefable and hoping it can take enough hits. Snorlax... Please body slam the Yan Mega. There's nothing else that makes sense for you to do here. It's Shadow Balled? Why would you Shadow Ball over Hurricane there? It makes no sense. And of course it crits but death drops. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, dude. Please body slam the Yan- Why aren't you attacking the Yan Mega? That is the threat right now. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to Encore the Tangrowth right now. This Hurricane is gonna do so much damage, I'm probably gonna lose my Clefable here. <sighs> yep, Clefable went down. Alright. Para? Para? Nope. That's okay. Okay. So the question here is... If I Shadow Sneak the Yan Mega with Kirby, do I die to a Tangrowth Giga Drain? Yes, right? Let's calc this.
What is going on with my music? Oh, did you rip Jolteon as well? Uh, I don't know if you did, but, uh... If you didn't, can you rip, uh, augment the Jolteon? Okay. Let's look. Okay, uh, Dusk Nor. 162? Okay, this is at level 58, so it's got 162 HP. God, my IV is so horrible. My, uh... My HP IV is literally dog shit. Um, Tang growth. At level 57 using Giga Drain. Okay, Giga Drain. Okay, I actually- so let's look at my HP after I take Stealth Rocks. I should be able to live this though, I think. Okay, it only kills me with a literal max roll on Giga Drain. I live otherwise. Please do not max roll me. Please do not max roll me. Or- just don't max roll. That's all I all I need. It literally does 46 on a max roll. Let's go. Okay. We're in this. We're in this. We're in this. Electivire comes out. Electivire is probably going to cross chop the Snorlax here. Okay. We have to go into Husk here. Cross chop miss, please, please. Damn it! Okay, that's really bad. Snorlax dying is really bad. Okay. Yep, Giga Drain's coming out. That's gonna do a ton of damage. Dude, this battle is so damn hard, especially when you're getting lucked and crit every turn. Okay. What's coming out? Heracross? Okay, Heracross is really good here. I can protect and bait... I can protect and bait uh, an Ice Punch as Heracross Megahorns the Tangrowth. Let's go. Okay, Tangrowth is down. Tangrowth is down. Yep, Ice Punch comes out. Alright, alright. Here we go. Okay. Bronzong is out here. This is the this is the Grass Knot Flash Cannon one. Let's see if Husk lives an Ice Punch. Poor Terra. With max at level 58, it's got 228 HP. So it's like... Yeah, okay, 228 HP. Is this Iron Fist? On the... On the Electivire. It's Motor Drive. Okay, that's at least good. 187 Defense. Okay, 187 Defense. And then Electivire. I know Electivire is unchanged, so... Level 58 Ice Punch. Okay, I should live this with ease, actually. Okay, and then I'm gonna Leech Seed on the Elect- Do I want to Leech Seed the Electivire or the Bronzong? Or, do I want to Reflect? 
Actually, I think Reflect is the move here. No, no, no. Leech Seed Bronzong is the play. Because I gotta hope... Yup, yup, yup. Perfect. Wait, no! He close combated the... He close combated the wrong Mon. And he fire punches the Heracross. The Heracross is going down. Okay. This is not... This is not bad, though. Because I can have a Leech Seed going on both sides. Swagger? Swagger is obviously annoying, but it's not horrible. No, it's fine. It's fine. We're good. Does the AI switch on Leech Seed? Okay. Azumarill comes in. That baits a hit from Electivire. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use the swagger and I'm gonna seed bomb. We're gonna we're gonna hit through the swagger. We're gonna hit through the swagger. Just watch. Just watch. Yeah, Azumarill dying is not a shocker. Please don't hit yourself. I can't afford it. I just can't. Are you kidding me? <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. We're going to we're we're going to we're we're still fine. It, as long as I don't hit myself this next turn, I can kill the yeah, I can kill the Electivire as long as I don't hit myself this turn. And Infernape's coming out, so he's going to take out the he's going to take out the Bronzong for me. Yep, see? Perfect. So I just got to I just got to hit here. That's all I need. I really hope he attacks into me with Ice Punch. I really hope he does that. Yup, okay. I live anything but a crit. I live anything but a crit. 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 Okay. Snapped out and see bomb. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We took out the Electivire. Okay. We're in this. What's coming in next? Perugly? What's does this Perugly have fake out? Please tell me this Perugly doesn't have fake out. It does. Shit shit shit. You know what? I actually think we have to seed bomb here. And let me explain why. If the if the Perugly has fake out and it fakes out the infernape as the gastrodon uses earth power then i am forced to switch out here but if the ai sees the kill on infernape with perugly or yeah no so if the ai fakes out the infernape with perugly and then i seed bomb the gastrodon here i'm in a really good spot so i'm just gonna seed bomb here no 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 i misclicked i misclicked i misclicked i misclicked i misclicked I'm going to lose my Torterra because I misclicked. Are you kidding me? I'm going to lose my Torterra because I misclicked Perugly instead of Gastrodon. <sighs> yup, there it is. That sucks, man. I would have been out with two deaths. Okay. This isn't over yet, though. We still gotta kill this Gastrodon. And two more from... Wait! Oh my god, Mars has so many things left. Okay. Dude, I'm so far behind because of that. That's so bad, it would've been a 2v1. Yeah. Because that Literally, that misclick cost me the battle. Okay. So... We gotta be honest. Okay, Kangaskhan, does this have fake out? Of course it does. The Gastrodon's probably gonna sir or muddy water here. I think I just have to protect. I don't have any other plays. 
I literally, yeah, I literally lost because I misclicked there. That sucks so bad. Miss Muddy Water? Miss Muddy Water? Miss Muddy Water? Please, Miss Muddy Water. Please, 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 miss. Miss, 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 miss. Miss, 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 miss. Are you kidding me? I had to protect there. I know their play. I'm literally gonna lose because I misclicked on the- Okay, wait, actually, Breloom being out is fire. Breloom can bullet seed the Gastrodon, and then Nidoqueen can drill run the Kangaskhan. Please, okay, come on. You eat this. You eat this up. Alright. Why is this faster than Breloom? What the hell? Please! Why did you force bomb? You had to kill the Gastrodon there! Dude, you had to kill the Gastrodon there. Are you kidding me? Oh, I dodged Muddy Water. I dodged Muddy Water. I dodged Muddy Water. Yeah, I did EV it to outspeed Breloom originally. I remember that. Dude, I dodged Muddy Water. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, I protect, and then Breloom takes this out. And then the last thing is Skunk Tank. We did, we did, I think we got it, I think we got it, I think we got it, I think we got it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Calc Nido Queen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Calc Nido Queen taking a crunch from Skunk Tank. Nido Queen level 58. Okay. I think we got it, guys. Oh wait, there's there's two more. So it's Skunk Tank and something else. I think it's Skunk Tank and Sableye. Sableye is not really a huge concern. Okay, so let's go and look at... You know, I, I don't actually think I can afford to pivot, can I? Yeah, I need full HP on Rhyperior for Sableye. Actually, I just have to, I just have to take it. Gunk Shot, that's going for Breloom. That's fine. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. We don't need Breloom anymore anyways. I think uh, Barry still has uh, Arcanine and Empoleon. Or, yeah, yeah. No, no, he only has Arcanine, I think. Not, no, not Arcanine. Oh, yeah, no. Barry's done. Barry's done. Completely. And I missed Drill Run. Perfect. Okay. It's okay. It's just a 1v1 now. It's just a 1v1. Alright. That miss is really unfortunate. That miss is really unfortunate. Crit? Crit? Nope. High crit rate my ass. Alright. I think we can still do this, guys. I think we can still do this. As long as he doesn't get a defense drop, as I- Wait, wait, wait. How much did that do? I was at like 72. Okay, I'm gonna protect. I'm gonna get a bit greedy here. I'm gonna protect and see if I can stay in on this. Yeah, yeah, protect once. Can I stay in at 55? I don't think I can stay in at 55. I'm gonna calc it. Okay, this looks like a roll here. This looks like a really close roll. Okay, Nido Queen with max HP 215. Okay, so 215 HP, 138 defense. Versus Skunk Tank, Crunch. Is Skunk Tank buffed in this? I think it is. Yeah, it's got it's got 95 attack. Wait, so uh stab crunch from 95 attack on Skunk Tank. And it's at level 58 as well. It does it's it's not a roll in my favor. Okay, so do I go for the 50% chance to... So if I'm at 55 HP... This is a literal 50% chance to KO. Let's roll the dice, boys. Let's roll the dice. Let's roll the dice, let's roll the dice. 
One HP! One HP! Let's go! Let's go, one HP! This Nido Queen is so good! Holy crap! Oh my god, oh my god, it literally lived on one! Okay. Okay, just the Sableye left. Surely Rhyperior beats a damn Sableye. I don't- I'm not even gonna protect, I'm just gonna switch straight into Rhyperior. Let's try and limit this to three deaths. And this is why we kept- And this is why we kept Earthquake on Rhyperior. Alright, let's see how much this does. 29? Oh yeah, this- this save lie is done. Alright, alright, alright. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, suck my dick, Sableye. Let's fucking go. Amazing fight. Amazing fight. Absolutely phenomenal. Oh my god. Holy shit. That fight was absolutely phenomenal.